I don't know what they were thinking, but it seems like Horizon Tech threw all the vaping shit that they had in their arsenal up in the air and caught it inside this tank. The Horizon Tech Arctic Turbo. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to the Vapor Chronicles. We've had a lot of RTAs and we've had a lot of temperature control devices. It's time to go back to what we were tired of a few months ago, Subone Clearos. Two in a row. The first one up is, well, it's called the, the Arctic Turbo from Horizon Tech, makers of the original Arctic Tank. And the Horizon Tech Arctic Turbo is a huge freaking tank. Now, it's not huge in juice capacity. Kind of weird, right? Looks like it holds a shit ton of juice, but it really doesn't. 3.5 milliliters of juice in this huge tank. And when I say huge tank, well, sub tank mini. Okay, it's big. It's real big. But what does it do? It's supposed to provide cool clouds of vapor, tons of it, because this thing has a sextuplet coil system, and I'm going to call it a system because it's not one coil head, it's three small coil heads that are each 0.6 ohms that make 0.2 ohms when you combine all three together. Um, this thing has freaking fan blades in it, it has top fill, it has one coil, two coil, three coil options, um, adjustable airflow on the bottom and the top, it's just... It's a, there's a lot going on here, so it's gonna take a while. Let's dive in and let's check out what it does and how it works and how it vapes, all right? Let's dive in. Here is everything that was sent from my vapor store. We have the Arctic Turbo bottom sextuplet coil sub-ohm tank, and we have the Arctic Turbo spare uh, bottom sextuplet coil. Both of them, they give us two packs, so we're gonna put them aside, and they also sent me some Philip Rock Signature Series, three milligrams of Nick, Taste the Rainbow. So I guess this is a uh, Philip Rock's version of the Skittle. So there you go. So we're going to vape that. But let's take this apart first. Um, pretty standard uh, Horizon Tech packaging. It breaks down the different components. Let's open this up. Give you a spare glass section and some spare O-rings, which is always nice. And they give you six coils. And that's it. Dimensions are three and a quarter long by seven eighths deep, including the threads. It's 22 millimeters in diameter. Can be configured to use one, two, or three dual coil atomizers with the included spacers or coil stoppers. 3.5 milliliter juice capacity, conveniently fill from the top. It is 510 threaded, 304 stainless steel construction, includes glass tank, intuitive sextuplet coil design. It's 0.2 ohms when using all three atomizer heads. Top and bottom adjustable airflow control, top turbine cooling system, stainless steel wideboard drip tip. RBA head option is sold separately, which I do not have. Each of the coils are dual coils. They're 0.6 ohms. When you use three dual coil 0.6 ohms, it ends up being 0.2 ohms. So there you go. You also want to make sure that you are using a high drain 18650 battery with a mod that supports this. So we have a big drip tip on here, a little bit bigger than I like personally. Well, let's take a close look. So you can see there's some heat fins here. Drip tip is removable, so you could put a different drip tip. It is Delrin, which is nice. And this is a little interesting at the top here. We've seen this before in a couple other devices, but uh, I'm gonna show it to you. This has a cooling fan that also helps with uh, cooling the vape and also with spit back that you get in your mouth. I'm not a huge fan of it, um, but we'll try it with it on. You can take it out if you want to. Um, to see it, you just grab here and just spin counterclockwise and this little cover comes off and you can see that in here you can actually pull this entire chamber out. There's little o-rings here and this is the fan section. 
See? And that is removable if you didn't like it. Now the problem is, is that this takes up a ton of real estate at the top here. See how big this whole section is? I wish that you could actually remove this, right? I wish you could remove this whole entire piece and then just put this and, and screw this back in and that would have been really cool, but you cannot. Not that I'm aware of at least. And whether you choose to keep the fan in or not, it still needs to be on there, so. So normally you wouldn't even unscrew this. But man, when you have this top section and you have this big drip tip, this is a pretty long big tank. To compare it, this is the Mellow 2 top fill. But we'll see, maybe this you know fan does something, we'll see. Bottom adjustable airflow here. You have the Cyclops, op uh, Cyclops opening here, Cyclops opening here and here. There's three at the bottom. And you also have top airflow also. So one at the top, okay? Now it looks like the top airflow is for the fan. So that's going to be muting flavor, I would imagine. So I would probably keep that closed unless you're really using a hot build. So I'm going to close that off. And let's take a look at the coil heads. So we're going to unscrew the base here. So you can see this whole entire plate at the bottom here is for conductivity to the one center pin at the bottom there. See that? because you have these three coils that are all airflow, airflow, airflow. And the way that this base works here is that if you grab this, there's an O-ring that holds it in. See that? And there you have your three coils. Now for such a big tank, this thing only holds 3.5 milliliters of juice because there's such a huge amount of space taken up at the bottom from this whole entire apparatus. So these are actually tiny little coils compared to some of the bigger ones that we've seen on the market today, but you do have juice openings and you can take each one out independently and they're sort of just pressed in there with an O-ring. See? Just pressed in and then it locks in. vertical coil, 0.6 ohm, juice opening. Now in your kit they give you the three coils and they also give you three spare coils plus these little spacers. So say you don't want to run 0.2 ohms or you don't have a device that supports it or you, I don't know, are running out of money and you want to save money, you can actually run just one of the coils, but you need to put these spacers into the opening where the old coil was, okay? See, there's nothing in it. So what you want to do is you took out your one and you just want to push this in in its place. So now you're going to have no juice leaking and this is just taking up the space uh, or the place of the other coil. See that? And they also give you another one. So you can could, you could run one, two, or three coils. It's up to you. But for this, we're gonna have fun, why not? And we're gonna actually use three. So we'll put this back in. Make sure everything's sealed up.
And once you push this in, there should be a little bit of space still. And then we're gonna screw this on. I wanna make sure this is nice and snug because making sure each of the bottoms of the coils have uh, contact to the bottom there, make sure that they all make good connection. And then we're just gonna fill this up. And if you want, you can use one of these little pipettes. I think that's what they're called. Because this doesn't come with a dripper bottle, or it's not a dripper bottle. And then to fill it up, you just push right in here. Three and a half milliliters and just fill it up. So once that's full, we're going to take the fan top piece, screw that back on. Everything's nice and snug. We're going to open up our airflow at the bottom, wide open. Leave the top closed off. Make sure that's tight. And then give it a couple of primer pulls, and then we'll take this for a bait. All right. Let's zoom back out and let's try it. So there you go, the up close. Crazy as hell. That's all I have to say. But how does it vape? We have it wicked. We have it wet. It's full. It's ready. We're ready to go. Um, before I do that though, let me thank my vapor store who sent this to me for free for the purpose of this review. If you're interested in picking this up, it is $28.95 right now in stock from my vapor store. So if you've never shopped from my vapor store before, East Coast, fast shipping, great service, and an awesome selection. And they probably have one of, if not the best prices on all products on the internet. I've used them a ton of times and I love my vapor store. I'm happy that I have a relationship with them now um, because I use them. If I use them, I think they're good and they're in the US and I like them a lot. So here we are, the Arctic Turbo Tank. Uh, the air fan thing is in here and thank God it doesn't go Now, I can feel it, but mm, it doesn't really affect me too much. And once it gets lubricated from the juice inside your tank, it actually quiets down a little bit. So let's send some vapor through there. Right now I have this at 90 watts, 0.22 ohms on the Wismec Relo, and uh, I figured why not for a big huge tank use a big huge mod that has power, the Relo. <laughs> that was a fucking dry hit. <laughs> I thought this thing is supposed to be able to go to 120 watts. What the fuck? That was a dry hit. What the fuck? Okay. So now it's reading 0.33 ohms. That means that one of those fucking coils is not making good... That means that one of the coils is not making contact or burnout or whatever. Yeah, it's bullshit. Anyway, this whole triple coil system is, it's not good. I have not enjoyed it. Um, let me take this off. Fuck. Okay, so it's still reading 0.33. Let's see if it, uh, if I get dry again, I'm done. Well, I don't know if all three coils are working or not. Um, that's the problem. When you have three separate coils that all have three different contact points, it makes it really challenging. What if one of them gets burnt out? What if one of them is gunked up? You don't really know. So that's a huge fail on my, on my from me. For this um the fan who the hell knows i'm afraid to go above 90 watts well fuck it i'll do this i'll do it for science they say 120 watts i already got a dry hit it's not reading the right resistance but fuck it
I'm going to make sure this shit gets wet first. All right. Let's do it. 120 watts. And we're at the right volts, so let's do it. Here we go. It's a little dry. All right, we're done. Uh, I'm gonna take the. I'm gonna first of all. I'm gonna lower the fucking wattage. Ninety watts. Let's take this fan out of here. What you can do if you undo the top. And the fan comes out. So you still have to leave the fan cavity in place. I don't know how that's going to perform, but. And this thing was sitting and wicking for like an hour. And this juice is a 65 VG juice. It's not a real thick juice, so it should be fine. By the way, the Philip, Philip Rock Taste the Rainbow or Vape the Rainbow, delicious. If you like Skittles, Spot on Skittles, fruity, flavorful, sweet, delicious. Um, I'm really enjoying it. All right, so with the fan out, it's actually less smooth because now the air goes up in this chamber up here and uh, it just sort of gets a hollow feeling. Not to mention it's a big fat waste of space. Uh, the flavor and the vapor production are good. The coil system is not good, okay? First of all, three times as much money. Um, the tank is huge. I'm sorry, but I can't recommend this Arctic Turbo to anyone because I just think it's, it's a fail on so many levels that it's just a fail, sorry. Uh, the Arctic from Horizon Tech Turbo, it's a no-go, all right? Thanks for watching this edition of the Vapor Chronicles. I got a whole lot more where this came from. I'll see you soon. Ah. <laughs> oh, hold on. I don't know what they were thinking, but Horizon Tech sure threw all the... <laughs>